Good morning. We are having brunch. We're at the Washington Diner. Gotta have the coffee. It's been a long cruise. Today's Sunday. What date is it? 27th. We are officially one day over our cruise. No telling how much longer we are going to be. Give it up for cameraman on <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our children are with them. There's either, there's either the boat. This is French toast covered in frosted flakes. Insane, look at that. And of course, my Hinduini steak and eggs. His arteries, they're being clogged, clogged as we speak. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What'd you get, Maddie? Say, they're good. Thank you. Chocolate so pancakes. Did you see her eating? Autumn yeah, got some all. eggs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Emmy got pancakes, eggs over there with Chibi and Melissa. Got, um, these toasts are covered for cereal. Mm. Guys, they're covered. Are they good? Mm -hmm. Yep, go ahead. Just pick them right off the of ground. <laughs> Someone stole my child. Did they take you? You stole my child. Hi. 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 Uh, look how close all these boats are to us. We're all stuck at sea. That's another carnival one. There's a couple of more out there that aren't as close, but we are back in the Gulf of Mexico with the beautiful blue water. Cha -cha, yeah, yeah. Turn it out. We hops this time. Right foot now. Left foot now, y'all. Cha cha. Yeah. Turn it out. Be looking out for God's reach. come in contact with the hurricane. It's wiping out chairs on the deck. Oh, dang. Even out here, you could see it was like clear, or y'all can't even see, it was clear. Can't even see it. Now it's like pouring out there, pouring. What is that? Having some, I have one chicken, one pork taco with some corn salsa on top. And good morning and afternoon, if I haven't said that. We are currently out to sea right now. Actually, I think I did say good morning. I'm, I have to show you an outfit of the day later. I've got so many compliments on this dress. Eileen girl, thanks for the recommendation. I am actually about to change into my swimsuit. We're gonna try and go swimming here before it starts raining again. Because as you can see, it was monsoony. Now it's nice, bright, and beautiful out there. The weather changes like crazy around here. So having some tacos before we go have some fun. The kids are in the kids club. There's not really much else to do for them out here because of the weather changes. So we've just kind of been chilling, not doing much of anything. Except eat and have a good time. No. Oh. The whole dress. Okay, see if those work. So we just got back to the room. We actually had the kids in kids club like I was talking about earlier. It cleared up quite a bit outside and it's super sunny as you can tell from my glowing tan. I'm going to be super tan after this trip. Uh, so mom sat down and was having a few drinks. Well actually I think she just had some coke and some lunch like coke, coca-cola and uh, Autumn was sleeping, so we left her in the stroller next to Mom. Mom was listening to music. On the dress and I took a little dip in the pool with uh, our swimsuits, and then came, got the girls from Kids Club. Now we are feeding them a little bit of lunch. They're in the room with my mom, and they're gonna have a little lunch, Take, lay down, take a little nap. We're gonna try and, try and find a washer and dryer because while we were out there, we had an update from the captain. The captain said the port of Galveston is still closed, which we knew today, Sunday, by the way. We are supposed to be home yesterday. We knew the port of Galveston was closed, and we anticipated not getting back 
until tomorrow, possibly Tuesday. But in the announcement he just gave us, he said that the port, they have zero idea when the port will be open again. And they're not anticipating it really much before the end of the week. So yeah, we may be spending Autumn's first birthday on a carnival cruise. <laughs> Which is, it just, keep, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier as time goes on. So, what are you going to do? We're just trying to enjoy yeah. and relax and I can't really worry about it too much. But we came in the room and of course like the room's clean. They clean it up every day. Uh, mainly they just make the bed, give us fresh towels and stuff. And I told them the rest. I was like, oh man, they reset the cruise because so everything yesterday, today's Sunday, right? So everything yesterday and today they're just resetting like all the menus and everything that we had from this past Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They're just going to, it's like we're taking the exact same cruise all over again except we're not going to progress or, or coast mile. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool though if they did take us back to progress on coast mile since we can't go to Galveston. That would be awesome. But they're not, I don't think. I think we're going to actually have no idea if we can't actually get into the port until closer to the end of the week. Wednesday or Thursday, I don't know what they're going to do. Who knows? But since we're not going anywhere, They've just been, what was I talking about before that? They've just been cleaning up the room. Oh, we're going to go look for uh, a place to do laundry because we're officially out of clothes. The girls don't have, I think Emmy has one outfit, like I mentioned earlier. Maddie and Autumn are completely out. Maddie doesn't have clean chones. Like, we have, Andres has been recycling clothes for like a week now. <laughs> We need to go get it. But I was telling him when we walked in, I said, oh man, we reset the cruise and now he's not doing animals. Look where we found him. Isn't that cute? He did a little monkey. Did you see the monkey, mama? It's so cute. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> so by the end of this, we're going to be more acclimated to cruise life than anything else. We are on day... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Day 10? Are we on day 10? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're on day 10 of our vacation. Wow. This is, wow. And I already talked to Emmy's teacher, so hopefully she's not truant in school. Oh my gosh. Disaster. We are headed to dinner for the umpteenth time. And uh, from what we got record of, we may be here through the end of the week, um, which I already talked to work, which is fine. The word has traveled very fast because when I talked to them at work, they were like, as soon as my church nurse answered and she was like, Melissa, aren't you stuck in the Gulf of Mexico? I was like, okay, well, at least everyone knows we're stuck in the Gulf of Mexico. And um, she said it was fine that she would take me off the schedule for Wednesday. And I'm not I'm not scheduled until I think the 8th, which is the following Friday. Yeah, regular seat. And um, so that's, if we're not back by then, Lord help us. And I have about 200 minutes left on my SD card, so I think it'll be fine. I think we'll be all good. This is our usual dinner spot here. Oh, you already got Papa. Hi. Logan had a blast today, apparently. <laughs> Passed out at dinner. He had a piece of chicken nugget in his hand earlier. Does he still have it in his hand? No. <laughs> He's so cute. Thank I you. That, I know that Trying out these mushrooms again. These were super good the other day. Got to get my Caesar salad on. What'd you get, baby? No salad? From Cocktail? You sure already have it. <laughs> I know. This is like repeat. We're on day 110 of the cruise. And one of those scallops. Hmm? Zucchini, eggplant parmesan, side of mashed potatoes. Guess what my honey bunny got for dinner tonight? <laughs> got the tropical uh, plate, fruit plate tonight. Switch it up a little bit. Autumn, you having a good time there? So I've never had so much food in my life, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Because I know you got up this morning. Magic, magic show. And comedy. You're excited for the show now. You see. Oh, I have so much fun. You know, one of the things about being a magician, being on stage, is I get to trigger people's memories. Magic is often something that triggers memories because people used to see magic. You know, the first time you see magic, you're a little little kid. There's another way you can trigger at memories, which is much easier, which is simply to ask a
Bobby, Bobby. Wait, thank you. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, it's alive! <laughs> You'd think after all these years with bra straps, I'd maybe better have this. Just finished up a magic show. Now Andres went to go get the girls from the kids club date. Okay, there we go. They opted not to go to the magic show, which I'm kind of glad they did because, hi baby. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they did because it was a little inappropriate. I thought magic show, family fun, kids, um, a little inappropriate. Hi baby. Jeff went in kids club. Why you left your you left your thing? I forgot. <laughs> Jeff, we have to hide. Just remember to bring it back tomorrow, okay? There's Maddie. Maddie go. Come on. Mom and play. Did y'all do something? Was it fun? Maddie only got mom and play, not me. Play to play now? It's modeling play now. Oh, modeling play. Okay. It's lots of fun there. Wow. We were having a party. That is so I, cool. I asked if. You're going to share with Sissy? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, he came and got. Or he went to go get the girls. I ran back to the room and now I am checking the laundry area because earlier it was packed and we really need to do laundry. Are they all taken? The washer? Oh, okay. But no dryer. Oh. The dryers has been taking the longest. The longest, but at least they're working. Yesterday they weren't even working. I had to let my hair down so it'll start to dry. I don't know if we're gonna go swimming tomorrow or not. But if we don't, I was thinking about straightening it, so I'm letting this baby air dry. <laughs> but I had to go up to the sixth floor, the sixth deck. We're staying on deck two uh, at the back of the boat. So anywhere we go, we have a very far walk, which is fine. I've been getting 10,000 plus steps every single day just because we have such a far way to walk. Now that I kind of have a really good feel for a cruise ship, I'll book differently next time. I think I would rather stay midship a little higher up, but it's been fine. We've made it work. I had to come up with six because these puppies, which are laundry soap, normally not a huge deal on a five day cruise, but since our cruise has turned into how, Lord knows how many days at this point, um, eight or nine, we're on day seven, you know, so who knows how many more days we have. Everyone's doing laundry like it's going out of style. And so all of the floors ran out of soap except the sixth deck. So you should have seen it. People are get, like buying it like as if this is the apocalypse and running out of soap is the, a huge deal. There's people back in Houston and Galveston that aren't gonna have water and electricity for for who knows how long, and people are buying laundry soap. Like, again, we're gonna die tomorrow, including me, apparently. Mom, what are you doing awake? What are you doing awake? Oh, mommy's gorgeous. What are you doing awake? It's bedtime. Yeah, it's bedtime. Oh, look at all their teeth. Oh, there's Autumn. There's Autumn. Hey, there's Autumn. This is how you travel with laundry when you're at the very end of the ship and the laundry's at the other end. In a stroller, in a laundry bag. Uh, good morning, we are on day, I don't even know what of this cruise, eight? Yeah, cause Saturday was six. Seven, eight, yeah. Today is Monday, the uh, 28th of August. 
we're at breakfast because what else are you gonna do, right? Um, we've actually got some more update. The port is still closed. Supposedly now it's gonna be closed until Friday or Saturday. And so we are headed, we were in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. We are headed now back to New Orleans um, so that more people can get off the ship if they want. We're actually considering that getting off the ship, either flying or taking a bus home. They do? Okay, great, you can have stereo. Um, I don't know, at this point we're all just kind of stir crazy. It's been awesome to have a couple extra days vacation, but we're done. They have yogurt. <laughs> right, Mom? We're done, yeah, we're done. <laughs> I wanna be home. <laughs> It was great. Like it was an awesome first cruise experience, regardless of the fact that we were stuck at sea. Yes, Maddie. Okay, sounds good. You want regular? Coffee? Yes, regular, please. Oh, what did go? She did. Thank you so much. There's only so much you can do once you've been stuck at sea for this long. I feel like so. That's okay. We're just gonna try and make the most of it and. Uh, Keep going day by day. We were actually doing laundry last night. So last time I left you guys, we were doing laundry. Uh, I was in the laundry room from 11.45 until 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Doing laundry. But now we all have clean clothes and I actually opted to wear workout clothes today because I am feeling anxious and I need to just go. I think I'm just gonna go walk on the track, go to the gym, something just to kind of free off some energy because as big as this ship is, there's not, we've seen every aspect of it. There's not nearly enough places to go and just kind of walk things off. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. But first we are having breakfast in Washington dining room. <laughs> we finished up breakfast. We went to Cherry on Top, which is the candy store. And actually a lot of people were saying it was super expensive. Now for individual pieces of candy, it is kind of expensive. Um, but this was like $8 and we got a little bit just to share while we're here checking out things that we haven't checked out that we didn't have time to check out that now we have an abundant amount of time to check out. So we did that. Now I'm on the hunt for a lanyard because the one that I bought from Target, I left at home. And we've just kind of been making it work. I've been pulling my card in and out of the bag, which my backpack has worked perfectly. And I've got a lot of compliments on it. But again, since we're gonna be here for another four, and a whole nother cruise, essentially, I kinda wanna land it to carry my card and stuff around. It seems to be the most beneficial thing. So now we're on the hunt for a beautiful lanyard. We got some shirts for the girls also. We need to pick up pictures later. We're just having lots of time to do everything today. How random. <laughs> There's Logan. There's Logan. And Chibi. That is so funny. That's so funny that we're just right here. Where's everyone else? Oh, the potato. I forgot we took one. No, we took Miss Potato. Yeah, Miss Potato. Mid, there I am. There's Miss Potato. Right there. Oh, look, there we are. There's Mrs. Potato. <laughs> That's funny. Mom's down there watching Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> and we are taking Autumn to get a diaper change and to start milk. Huh, Mom? Milk, milk, milk. So we're not going to, we were gonna switch her over to whole milk when she turns one, which is Friday. And so we're just gonna start it a little bit earlier so we don't have to buy any more formula. It's a party out here. Autumn, this is your first taste of milk, huh, mama? Too bad we don't have a sippy cup. Huh? Yeah. Cut you off the bottle, too. Is it good? They got basketball, volleyball. We're about to head up to mini golf. I'm surprised they don't have a net over this. Balls can go in the ocean. and he went swimming without everyone. He's just joining us. Yeah. 
We went up to play golf and all this stuff. And they, oh, welcome back. Welcome back, baby. <laughs> with a grilled chicken with broccoli and I actually asked for mashed potatoes but they gave me both. And the dust actually got something different tonight. Seven nights in a row he had steak. He got the lamb this time. And he had french fries and hot dog. Emmy, what'd you have, baby? It's still a little bit hot, baby. Emmy's had uh, a lot of food. <laughs> but the food that I was And Adam, what do you have? Say, I had some peanut butter and jelly, uh, some macaroni, and I'm touching mommy with my dirty hands. What else did you have? You're about to have some peas and carrots? And say, I had more milk, like a big girl. Huh? Okay, so I'm waiting for the elevator to go to Lido to get Autumn some milk before we take them to Kids Club. So the thing that we won today for dancing was a free owl night, owl, night owls. And it's from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And you have to pay for your children. It's down. You have to pay for your children to be in childcare. And it's like $15 for each of the big girls, and then 675 plus gratuity an hour for Autumn. So if I leave all three of them in there all three hours, that's <laughs> like $50. So that was an amazing prize that we won at that little kids sock hop thing, which they had so much fun at. It was super cute. They invited us from the kids club since we've been at the kids club pretty much every day, or within reason, every day. 
so um, it was by invite. We got invited, we happened to win for dancing, which is super awesome. Everyone's going down, I'm <laughs> going up. Um, super awesome, so we originally weren't going to do anything tonight. It's not even about not having the funds, it's more like I don't mind spending while we're on vacation. This is not, you know, you know you're eventually going to go home. I don't want to keep spending because I actually don't know when we're going home. So we're trying to stick to more of a, not a budget, but be a little bit more conscious, not just, you know, throw down however much money at the casino or order drinks like crazy or whatever, or keep them in kids club because every night we were keeping them in kids club late to go to comedy shows and whatnot. Oh talking miss my elevator <laughs> um, we were keeping them late to go to comedy shows and stuff like that and because of that the bill racks up really easily so we were trying to be a little bit more conscious since we have kind of a lot of days now to do stuff uh, but because we won free childcare, we're going that's why I'm dressed like this. We're gonna go ahead and check out the new comedians. They brought on two new comedians when we went to New Orleans on Saturday. So that's kind of cool. Hi. Not perfect. And so we are going to check those out tonight while the kids go to Kids Club. <laughs> and vlogging. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what that is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was in the elevator with a captain of some sort and he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I had to explain to him a little bit. So I just ended up getting 1% milk. Apparently, we had 2% earlier. Nobody has any idea what 2% milk is. And also whole milk. Nobody has any idea what that is either. So I had to ask around. They don't have whole milk. So we had to go to 2%. I was just at um, the main buffet where I got the 2% milk earlier. And they're like, oh no. I've never heard of 2% milk. I'm like, no, earlier I got it, I promise I did. And they're like, no, no, all we have is skim and 1%. I was like, okay, fine, whatever, <laughs> not a big deal. So I got 1%. We'll switch her to whole milk as soon as we get home. Oh no, this is deck three. And if we stop at Walmart, I may end up picking up some whole milk while we're in Louisiana tomorrow. Um, I don't know that they'll let us bring it back on the ship though, so. Go ahead, it's okay. <laughs> So funny, I keep getting stuck in the elevator with everyone. And they're like, what are you doing? So yeah, I don't know. And it's it's funny, everyone here, all of the staff, even the captains, everybody, there are very few people that have an American accent. Very few people that are even from the US. Everyone else is from so many countries around the world. It's awesome. But do you, anybody that lives any country, besides the US, do you know what whole milk is? <laughs> or 2% milk? Or do you guys just have milk in general? And it doesn't, it's not categorized by fat content. The reason I ask is because like I said, everybody's looking at me like I'm absolutely insane when I'm telling them the different types of milk. Nobody has any idea what I'm talking about. This is what we all look like. <laughs> Walk into the room at 12.45 in the morning. I'm watching that. <laughs> the girls went to kids club in their jammies. So we headed back to the room. Emmy's back there, oh there you go. <laughs> we headed back to the room. I told you guys, gave everyone baths. Got them cleaned up, everything done. Hair redone, we gave Emmy a new hairstyle. Hi. Uh, <laughs> everyone looks at me like I'm insane. We gave Emmy a new hairstyle, because it was just about time. And makeup's looking good. I haven't done one thing to it, not one, not even blotted. And it doesn't look bad at all. Let me check on the laundry. Oh, now everything's open. Washer and dryers. Everything's open. So I was told by a little birdie, come on, Maddie, yeah. that at the washer, everything's free now. After I just got done spending. Okay, let me try that again, my battery died. The laundry's free. After I got done spending four hours there last night and spending about $20 on laundry, it's free today. You know, that's cool. Life could be totally worse. I know my mom is, as hard as it is for us to continue to be here every day, 
Life could be so much worse. This is not a bad way to be stranded. Not a bad way at all. Could be so much worse. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone that's affected by Harvey. We do get news updates and it is awful. Awful, awful. So on a lighter note, we are going to stay in our cabin. 2469 where we'll probably be living for the next additional week and enjoy the good life here today. Oh, we're going to bed. Yeah, we're going to bed. Going Thank to goodness. Bed. And I'm going to bed, guys. Everyone had fun in kids' camp today. Oh, Betty. That's a fun. This is not a party ship. Oh, 